This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. That was a blast from the past, wasn't it? How many of you remember that one? That was, in case you don't remember it, a Mickey Moody guitar solo. Yes, he of early Whitesnake fame. But that wasn't from a Whitesnake song, that was from this song here by uh, Graham Bonnet, uh, the guy who'd just round about that point, 1981 we're talking about here. Uh, he'd not long left Rainbow. I think Rainbow had moved on to... Uh, um, Joel in Turner by this point and I remember seeing uh, him performing this song, probably lip syncing to it on uh, Top of the Pops and thinking that's that bloke out of Rainbow isn't it and um, anyway as I say yes Mickey Moody, a local chap from my part of the world up here in the North East he played lead guitar on it and I think it's a, a good example of how a good guitar solo doesn't have to be you know technically difficult or anything, it's a perfect guitar solo for the song it's um, you know simple licks played really well and in an effective manner. So here's a little bit of an explanation about what's going on in the solo. Solo explanation. Okay then, starting with what the solo is played over, we've basically got an eight bar chord sequence of E minor for two bars, going to a D major for two bars, going to a C major for two bars, going to a B major for two bars. That's the actual solo. There's a little bit that I've tagged on the end, which we'll talk about in a moment. But, you know, that's basically, um, you know, albeit in a different key, the same chord sequence as Sultans of Swing. What makes it not sound like Sultans of Swing is the fact that um, whilst those chords are there being played by the keyboards, um, the, the rhythm guitar part is just playing power chords, big thrangy kind of, um, you know, E5, D5, C5 and B5 and it just makes it sound a lot more kind of uh, ballsy and you know kind of rock um, at the end of the solo there is like a little keyboard interlude the bit that's going that kind of thing uh, on the original recording as I say that's done on keyboards I think the guitar if you listen carefully is doubling it but um, I did it as a guitar uh, as a harmony guitar part why? because I used to go and see a band regularly on the circuit round here about, gosh, 25 years ago. Dear me, time flies. And they used to do this song, and they used to do that section of it um, as a as a harmony guitar part. It worked really well, so I thought I'd um, just have a go, you know, kind of put that in here, because, it, as I say, it works. So, anyway, we're clearly, we're in E minor, um, and E minor pentatonic is the order of the day. Uh, we start off with this uh, lick here. That, where we're basically bending the 14th fret on the 3rd string and then hitting the 15th fret on the 2nd string. Like that. Now, it's a very, very basic lick, but what makes it work is the phrasing. Okay? You basically bend that note there and that lasts for one whole beat but this note on top this D note that you're hitting on top is lasting for half a beat so you add that together you get a lick which lasts one and a half beats and if you play it repeatedly then it's going to be kind of on the beat off the beat on the beat off the beat a simple lick like that works because it's got a bit of syncopation built into it um, anyway, after I think a couple of bars of sitting on that lick, we um, we come to you know we're in basically E minor pentatonic as I said. We come to this uh, D note here and at the fifteenth fret on the B string, and we go, uh, and then so just standard kind of pattern one pentatonic stuff. And then a similar thing, bending the G up to an A on the um, on the 
high E string. And then uh, culminating on this bend here up to this um, this A note going up to a B. Uh, right at the end of the solo. Now, you could say, well, um, yeah, he's, he's hitting that B note because at this point we're on the, the B major chord or the B5 chord. Um, and he's uh, targeting that note there. I don't think it's an, anything as intellectualised as that. I think he's just kind of climbing up the scale to do that sort of, you know, that thing that we like to do as, as rock guitarists, which is to kind of make sure that the, you know, at the end of the solo you've reached the kind of high point in the scale and you you, you built it up to a sort of a climactic finish. And just a couple of bars of uh, kind of wailing away on that high B note. Uh, then we come to the aforementioned harmony guitar part, the thing that isn't on the original, but I thought it was cool when I, uh, I saw a covers band doing it many times a few years ago. Um, well, this is where we uh, begin to use notes that are outside of the minor pentatonic, mainly uh, an F sharp note, E minor pentatonic, easy way to remember E minor pentatonic. The notes in E minor pentatonic spell the word badge. You've got to rearrange them a little bit, you know, but if you can remember B, A, D, G, E, and then E, G, A, B, D, rearrange them into scale order, that's an e easy way of remembering that scale. So we get an F sharp here, which is clearly from outside that scale. Um, so we go G, F sharp, E. We do that twice. Then we go A, G, F sharp, uh, and then we're back to the um, G, the G F sharp E. That's it. Now that is harmonised in just or I harmonised it in um, just a simple thirds kind of thing. So uh, what do I mean by that? Well, if you add the F sharp note into um, the E minor pentatonic, you're kind of almost getting towards an E natural minor scale. Okay, uh, the only other note we're going to add in is a C note, uh, and if you basically go E, G, A, B, D, which is the E minor pentatonic, and add the F sharp, you get E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, and then start again. So, all you do to harmonise it um, is, uh, if you're on a G note, you count three notes up from G, so G, A, B, so, and then just kind of track that down the scale, so... The, uh, the original lick is going G, F sharp, E, okay, the harmony part goes B, A, G, so, while one guitar is doing that, the other's doing that, and then you just apply that to um, the, uh, the other part of the lick where it's going A, G, F sharp, the other part of the lick goes uh, C, B, A, because all of those notes are essentially a third above the, uh, the, original ones, you know, the the, um, the A, G, F sharp, excuse me, I haven't had enough coffee yet. So anyway, that is what is going on in uh, the rather wonderful Mickey Moody solo from the Graham Bonnet, hit from 1981, Night Games. Now you know what's going on, go away and have some fun with it. And as always, you'll find a full tab for the solo in both Guitar Pro and PDF formats, along with a clip of me playing it and a jam track for you to play along with for yourself. Oh, and that uh, explanation you've just seen there, all of that is up on my Patreon page. There's the address and the link is in the description. $3 or £2.50 a month gets you access to all of these additional resources that go along with these YouTube videos. A massive, massive thank you to everyone who supports me in that or any of the other ways, all of which are, you know, where linked down below in the description. And that's pretty much the video for today, folks. Hope you've enjoyed it and found it useful and informative and perhaps even a little bit entertaining. And if that's the case, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so. And why not drop me a like while you're at it? Don't forget the live stream every Friday, 5pm UK time. We drink beer and talk about music and guitars, basically. What's not to like about that? It's a great way to kick off the weekend and I'd love to see you there if you can make it. But for now, I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now